start in to give thanks for everything he's done for me. But the first thing I want to start out with, uh, everybody knows my hearing's not real good. And uh, for the last three weeks, I had uh, a head cold, I guess you'd call it, but I sure enough couldn't hear nothing. My head was all stopped up. And the Sunday morning, the service was going on. Brother uh, David reached up and put his hands on my shoulders and, and prayed for me. And I didn't feel anything instantly. I felt the power of the Lord, of course. And after church, I told him, I said, I definitely appreciate you praying for me. And he said, well, I just felt impressed just to, to pray for you. And that afternoon, I, I started feeling a lot better. And Monday morning, I was on my way to work, and I, I had the XM radio on, on Enlighten uh, Gospel. And I had it turned, Sister Amanda, almost all the way up, and I could barely hear it. And uh, I got to almost delivering, and all of a sudden, my ears popped, and my I couldn't get to that radio fast enough to turn it down. I mean, it like <laughs> blared me out of there. And I could hear the tracker when I got on it. Before, I had to watch the gauges because I couldn't even hear the motor running on it when I was cutting stalks. But I want to thank the Lord for touching my body. Yeah. Praise God. That's, that's not the first time he's done that. It wasn't, a, it wasn't an instant touch, but nobody could make me believe that he didn't get my hearing back where I can hear. And I appreciate Amen. it. And I know Sister Nadine does. She's about hoarse from... <laughs> hollering, trying to get me to hear. But God has just been so uh, real to us and so good to us. This, this year, our family, uh, so many blessings he's gave us, and it's so wonderful to see Heidi and Jesse here at church tonight and, and making a start for the Lord. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking for some more, <laughs> praise God. He's slowly bringing them in, and I know he's going to, praise God. I can't, I can't get over that scripture, Brother Jill, and you quote it, and it's been one of my favorite scriptures for years and years. I put it to the test all my life. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and all these other things will be added unto us. You put God first. But I'm going to tell you, if you don't put God first, you really don't have a right to call on him. I hate to say that, but he's answered the prayers anyway. But when you put him first, I feel like God's obligated to his word. Amen. His word is true. God's promises are real. They never fail. And I can truthfully say he has never failed me yet. That song we sang, he has never failed me yet. I can truthfully say that. God, I could tell you instance, and in, in Sister Nadine and I was walking with the Lord where uh, I pulled money out of pockets I didn't know I had, and, and just uh, heard Brother Billy testify about that. But it's just so many good things that God does for you, not only financially, but spiritually. Yes, sir. You know, he, he, he takes you to places you've never been before, and I appreciate him so much. He's just been more than wonderful to me. I love him. And I am so thankful for what he's doing in the church and what he's doing in all of your families. And I feel like we're going to see a great revival among the families. Amen. I, I pray when I'm praying every day, I get on that tractor and I have plenty of time to pray. I pray for, call out Brother Billy's kid's name, Brother Wimpy's kid's name, everybody's kid's name. And I say, God, just send all of our children in. We'll have a house full. We'll have to add on if we just get all of our kids in. I, I, I think we're going to see that before he comes. And I think his coming is going to be real soon. I want to live for him. I love him. Amen.